Hello everybody. So today I'm talking about something I literally only found out about today and it kind of shook me because I've never heard of an insult like this before or an insult like this said so publicly and I was just a bit taken back by it. I was just like, you what? In Australia at the moment, obviously in Australia, the Australian Open has taken place. It is a tennis event. Yesterday I think it was, or the day before, I'm not sure. Rafael Nadal was playing in a match uh, and I'll just quickly explain about Rafael Nadal so before he serves and also before his matches he does rituals and he's spoken about these rituals and he just does some he says to keep himself focused and people are skeptical about this they think it's not because it keeps him focused it's because he has OCD and to be honest I don't think that's really fair to kind of say oh no he has OCD because who are you to diagnose him when you don't know him do you know what I mean so in the past I think he has denied the rumours that he has OCD so it's definitely not confirmed whether he does and it's really none of our business unless he wants to talk about it before his serve he does his ritual as he always does before he serves and he's literally done this for years people know what he does who typically watch tennis like it's not a surprise that Nadal does this like we know but Karen in the crowd here had a problem with that I don't know why she thinks she's in a position to tell him what to do or to judge him for his rituals when she has nothing to do with the match when he's been doing this for years and he actually knows how to play tennis she thinks she knows it all as all Karens do and here I'm not trying to come across like a snowflake like I'm crying to sleep because of what this woman said I'm not I just think we need to talk about how illogical this woman is and how stupid she's made herself look because I would be so ashamed if this was me just first of all this woman needs to sort her fringe out more of mine but on my days look at that look at that what is going on there i do not know and why is her mask on her chin it's not doing anything do you want it off or do you want it on your mouth and nose because it's not it's not doing anything there unless she has a mouth on the bottom of her chin which she might do because she obviously speaks a load of shit so i don't know that might be the case so Nadal was doing his rituals before he served and this woman wasn't happy she was she wasn't happy and she yelled hurry up you OCD fuck at him I know I was like <laughs> I was dead I was dead and Nadal was like is she talking to me when the camera turned to him and he just started laughing good on him for just not taking it too seriously after that she put out her middle finger which i don't know why she felt the need to do that you're gonna turn the whole crowd against you love then security escorted her out obviously because she was interrupting the game if you're watching a tennis match in the crowd then you've got to show some respect because people aren't going to take kindly to you if you keep disrupting them okay she spoke in an interview after she basically said that she wasn't even there for the match Nadal was in. She was there for a match before, but she just stayed for Nadal's match for some reason, which I literally don't understand. Like, if you don't want to watch their match, why are you watching their match? Does she know that she could literally get up and leave? You see what I mean? Illogical. It doesn't make sense. She wasn't even sorry for what she said. If she was like, oh, it, it was, I was drunk, it was heat of the moment... I embarrassed myself all this and I would have been like okay fair enough at least she understands she literally made a fool out of herself but but she was just like kind of shows he's boring because I'm the one that's gone viral and he hasn't his matches are boring like she just kept insulting it out and I was like uh, okay and she said that she just called out get over your OCD rituals and that's when I flicked him the bird I'm guessing that means middle finger is that what Australians say flick the bird first of all shouting out get in, get over your ocd rituals that is so rude that is so rude 
honey, do, do you not know how mental health works because you've really embarrassed yourself and shown that you really have a lack of respect for people with mental health disorders, specifically OCD. She also said that the stadium staff were very rude and they said, right, you have to go. I don't know how that's rude. I think the rude one here is you, Karen, when you insulted people with OCD, you insulted Nadal and you put your middle finger up at everyone in the crowd. Um, and the staff said you had to go. I do not get to where you're coming from with that. Okay. The moral to the story. You don't need to shout out things in tennis matches. You don't need to insult people who have mental health disorders. And you don't need to make yourself look like a right twat. And you need to sort out your fringe. But oh my gosh, this picture is so funny. Of this woman with the Spanish flag. She was like... What is she doing? Oh my gosh. I just thought it would be interesting to make this video because also I've never heard of someone use OCD as an insult like that. I hope this woman learns her lesson because a lot of people aren't happy with her. Rightfully so. Uh, I do agree that she has the right to say what she wants but we have the right to criticise her and that's what we're doing. So yeah, that's the video and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. You probably didn't but I don't blame you. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you later. Bye.